Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, A Promise Revisited. You may notice that I have a new evil symbol on the map. This is the Nether Express, which I unlocked in between episodes at the uh, hefty price of 500 mana, most of my items, and several cell phones. Uh, I have put Fenric as the leader of this uh, area. There's only one slot for it. For reasons we will see shortly, let's return to the base. And just as a proof of concept, let's go back to the rehabilitation room and try out our new feature. Here I come. Suppose we were to use station creation. over here. As you can see, we now have a uh, have a set of train tracks leading to this area. So, if we are to so if we told uh, our red skull to board, this would instantly move him to the train station and he would still be able to move. So, pretty much what we have here is a shortcut for low move units. Straight to the action. I wish I had known about this my first playthrough of this game. <laughs> this is a remarkably useful feature. I'm glad I discovered it. That being said, it costs 20 SP to uh, make a station, so... Uh, don't get too crazy, especially going into the item world with it. <laughs> now, let's rearrange everybody by level, just because. And let's chase after Fuka. Altar of Waste. My lord, because of all the pollution, this area has become extremely hazardous. You must be careful at all times and look out for the rampaging mutated monsters. Corrupting that is to blame for this situation as well. How far will they fall? What is with that pile of trash? It's like a massive lump of concentrated toxin. Blech. It's the Netherworld's dumping ground. It's waste from the human world. Made in... Hmm. There's no doubt that these are the source of the pollution here. It's the human world's dumping grounds too. Waste from the human world? Are you saying that they're dumping their garbage in the Netherworld? It's nonsense! How could the Corruptorman allow this? They must be aware that it's happening. Hey guys, I thought you came here to rescue me! <laughs> oh, right. What? Seriously? You actually came to help me? Of course. As a pretty instructor, I am obligated to save you. Y you He's only seeing to his professional duty. Don't you dare develop affections for him, Blass. <laughs> like I would. You guys beat the hell out of me earlier. At least you're still full of energy. Can you fight, Lass? My name is Fuka. Fuka Kazamatsuri. A ninth grader from St. Goliath Middle School, Classroom 3B. And due to the auto text, we did not get to read that. Oh well. This is it. All right, Fuka has joined the party. No ranged. Uh, we are going to want to get rid of that. It's over there. Here I come. 
Well, that's annoying. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's tower. Let's get a crane out here. I see what I need to do. Alright, uh, Fenric, you just stay put for now. I wonder if that's gonna do that. Actually, you know what? Okay, that doesn't actually help us very much, does it? Really? Really, game? Alright, if we're gonna play that way, let's get a bunch of guys out here. I got this. And now we have 11 members in the party. Uh, one of them is probably going to fall by the wayside. Eska, you're out! Fenric is probably going to get surrounded, but we've got a fusion going on. Big slime. Fenric is taking none of your nonsense. Alright, Rutil, you are on Geocube duty. Alright, that clears out all the stupid, but uh, now I really gotta heal some dudes. I really gotta heal most of my dudes, as a matter of fact. That guy over there to deal with, too. There. Call this the human chakra. <laughs> okay, that was a thing. Okay, I have no idea why it's not letting me make a station.
seriously weird. Oh yeah. Fist attacks do that. Well, that's not even a fist attack, that's one of Fenric's specials. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, that was a thing. My lord, it seems that all the mutants have run away. Now that I think about it, they are also just victims. Could have gone this way. Well, I'm gonna go now. Not so fast, lass. Even if you fail to become a Prinny, you're still technically a Prinny. And as long as you're a Prinny, I must teach and raise you from beginning to end so that you can become a great Prinny. First of all, Prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No way! I'm not a Prinny! I'm Fuka Kazumatsuri! Hades is the training ground for all burdened souls. That being said, you have no <laughs> Fuka play. is having none of this. Now, pretty rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No means no. First of all, who came up with these horrible labor laws anyway? It's the pretty law that was written by the very first president of the Netherlands. Only the president can revise this law. Okay, then I'll go talk to the president. I'm gonna tell him to his face to change the pretty law. <laughs> Find your attitude rather pleasing. Why don't you come with us? I'll take you to meet the president. Seriously? Yes, I promise. Lord, enough with your careless promises. <laughs> it's an inevitable confrontation if we are to complete our mission, isn't that right? You're right, but... Whoa! Then I've decided! I'm coming with you! you <laughs> world president! What? Uh, Wasn't your Fuka. goal to revise the pretty law? It's the same difference. Besides, I like the sound of that better. And thus, Pretty War I came to an end. Tyrant Valvatores and Fuka Kazumatsuri. Nobody at the time could imagine how great of an influence their encounter that day would have on the future of not only the Netherworld, but of the human world as well. My dream is starting to get pretty exciting! How many times do we have to tell you this isn't a dream? You're dead! Times do I have to tell you that this is my dream? If you think I'm so wrong, then prove it. Very well. Do you promise that when I'm proven right, you will admit that you are pretty no matter what? Fine, I promise. But then if I'm right, you have to promise to become my very own personal pretty. <laughs> Your personal pretty? Oh, are you trying to back out now? How amusing. All right, I'll take you up on that promise. <laughs> My lord, do not be so rash in making so many futile promises. <laughs> oh, man. No need to worry. You won't be able to keep your promises. I just released all of the prisoners. I told them that whoever... Hi, Axel. You're not dead.
An astonishing truth is revealed to us after putting an end to the unfriendly rebellion and stopping the Corruptorman's scheme. <laughs> That's right! Warden Axel is alive! Let your relief bring you to your knees! The truth is, the word sardine refers to more than one kind of fish, including other small fish in the Clupinet family, like the Japanese shad. Don't tell me that's the astonishing truth you were talking about. By the way, sardines are named after an island called Sardinia in the Mediterranean Sea. Who cares? Hey, hey! Aren't you surprised to see me alive? Oh, and your shads are also called river herrings. <laughs> Axel's in on it too! But Ureme Iwashi and Karakuchi Iwashi aren't even included in the same family. What in Hades is going on here, Japanese language? Katakuchi Iwashi, the anchovy, is in the inequality family that includes the grenadier anchovy that doesn't even look like a sardine. So why do they even call them Iwashi? Sardines would cry if they knew about these vague standards. Come on! No, you come on! You stupid sardine nerd! Next time, episode 3, Valvatore's Nether Pia Murder Those Prisoners. Sardine! <laughs> what? No! A murder! Who's gonna get killed? You! <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!